from the defense, bad decisions from quarterbacks? How Combination of both, but I think the guys in the secondary, those young cats, uh, and also the uh, older guys are, are starting probably to understand what Coach yeah. Fisher and Coach Jack Cooper want, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I think they're better at breaking on balls and all of those sorts of things that go into that side of it, you know? So, yeah, they're... That, that that part of the team, at least in terms of the secondary, as I can see it, has gotten a lot more crisp. And I know Coach, that's not where Coach Fisher wants to tend. You know? right, yeah. He wants him to keep moving forward, but I've seen a little, that difference. When, when, you're looking at the, when you're looking at the time frame that you want to make this decision in, do you have a date that you want to say, we want this guy, we want to know this guy by this point, or is it, you just going to know it when you know it? No, I, you know, Coach Frost is going to come to the staff and he's going to come to me and he's going to say, we need to have a discussion about this and let Let's talk about it, and he'll make. Ultimately, he'll make the des- decision based on our recommendations, and we'll go from there. They, you know, across the board, they are. You know, they all have different personalities. You know, Jebby is a crack up. You know, but yeah, that, that, uh, that's how I would characterize that entire group. Is know? there a specific thing on a day-to-day basis that you look at that says, you know, wow, this group is, you know, showing a lot of the intangibles that I'm looking for? No, because I think that was evident in. in in, uh, in spring, and now it's just a carryover to what they're doing here in fall camp. Adrian was talking about the weight that he's added since he yeah. got here. Do you feel like he's lost any of the quickness? Or still it hasn't appeared that way to me at all. You know, and obviously, you know, Coach Duvall is, is probably as conscious of, of that part of his and our quarterback's profile as anybody here in this building. So certainly, um, I haven't seen that. And I think once the moment that Coach Duvall sees that, he's going to back off or take care of it however they want to take care of it in terms of his weight game. Hey, Coach Ross has talked about being a quick blinker. Yes, yes, yes. When you, yes. What's a quick blinker to you? Quick blinker bill process a lot of information. And so, you know, it's, it's interesting because on the recruiting, you know, there's on the recruiting aspect, that first thing is athleticism for me, and then then go ahead and ask all the questions to, to make sure the guy has uh, that sort of ability. But then when they come here, man, that, that becomes paramount to us how do you because teach? we figured that they're all athletic, otherwise we'd have never recruited them. Right. Yeah. How, do you, how do you teach them? I mean, obviously you've got the tests and things like that, but how do you teach someone to be equipment for, or is that something you can teach? Y- yes, it is. Because if you're if we're talking about reads and keys, you know you're, you're reacting to quote unquote a stimulus, you know, and there's a lot of research in terms of how you get that done, you know, in terms of coding memory and yada yada yada, so on and so forth. Um, and so one of the big pieces of the puzzle is to remove as much uncertainty from what they're seeing as possible. That will speed up their information processing. The better they know the playbook and they know the formations and they know the sorts of plays that are going to be hooked up, the faster they're able to process the formation with regards to the play itself, the defensive structure, and let's go. Yeah. And they were you would want them to be this early in the I, Yeah, I, I, I think Coach Walters and, and Coach Frost feel, feel pretty good about where they are right now. We know we have miles to travel uh, before Akron, and I'm, I feel good about the fact that they're going to be where we want them to be at Akron. Um, but right now, in terms of um, that piece of it, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Do you feel yeah. like... Go ahead. No, no, no go ahead. Yeah. Is there anybody non-quarterback-wise that's jumped out to you in terms of on the offense that you've said, hey, they really got it? Oh, God, you know... Because I, you know, I get so focused on what my guys are doing. I have, <laughs> yeah, see I have that's no good. idea what <laughs> the hell is going on. <laughs> okay. Although I will say that uh, the couple times I've seen Maurice, you know, he's, you know, I go, boom, who, who's that? Right. You know, um, yeah. So him, right? And for the, you know, because my my eyeballs are obviously expanding because I have a better sense of what our guys are going to be doing. Right. So I have to say so focused on them. So I saw I saw Stanley today make some man, he, he's like a freaking vacuum cleaner around with his hands, it was awesome. So, sure. so just off the top of my head, those sure. two cats. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, is there a point okay, this last question is, is there a point I'm in good. camp where you know the, the camaraderie with the quarterback group is fantastic. So yes. obviously everybody's cheering for each other. Yes. Is there a point where you expect that to to flip to more of a competitive thing or, or is that going to kind of flush itself it, how do you guys examine no it's a, no it's as, it's as competitive as that 
you'd want it, you know. Um, so that piece of the puzzle with regards to them supporting each other um, can't change. I mean, the competition is high as, as man, it's awesome. You know, that we're, we're, what Coach Frost wants. What can change is that support system and that camaraderie between the four of them because, five of them, because once that happens, someone's head's going to freaking roll, right? So that, that, that cannot change, and it's been awesome so far.